How do boxing judges score fights? Hello, my name is Chris and welcome to Broken Nose Boxing's Boxing Explained. In this video, I'm going to be talking about how judges score fights. Controversial, very controversial. Now, why is this topic controversial? You would think that boxing has been around for so long that the sport would have evolved into a place where judges that score fights and there are judges scoring every single professional fight you would think that that would have evolved into a, a very simple and well-oiled machine. What do we mean by scoring a fight? If two boxers get to the end of the allocated fight duration, then it goes to the judges' scorecards and the judges will determine who won the fight. When modern boxing first started in the 19th century, the Marquis of Queensbury rules were what really is laid the foundation of modern boxing. But in those rules, it, it specified, you know, Fights have to be in rounds, They have to the rounds have to be predetermined, it talked about how there has to be a referee, it talked about how, you know, what the boxers have to wear in terms of attire, they have to wear shorts, they have to wear gloves, and they didn't really have many rules on how to judge a fight, and that caused a lot of controversy. In 1968, the World Boxing Council, the WBC sanctioning body, introduced a 10-point must system. This is that the judge must score 10 points at the end of each round to one of the fighters. Now, the 10 points is before any fills or knockdowns. Quick example, if you were to fight me in a boxing ring, you would probably win. I don't want to get punched in the face. <laughs> but hypothetically, if you won the round, right, you, you know, landed more shots than I did and I didn't really throw anything and you beat me up in that round, then on the 10 point must system, which is the modern way of scoring boxing, you would be awarded 10 points for that round and I would be awarded 9 points. In a sort of generic situation, if fighter A beats fighter B in a round with no knockdowns, no fills, fighter A gets 10 points, fighter B gets nine points. So under this 10 point must system, that is how it works, 10-9. If you win a round, you get 10 points and the opponent gets nine points. However, if someone gets knocked down, then they lose a point. So if you're fighting me and you beat me up and you knock me down, then I am deducted an additional point. So it, I would then be 10 points to you, eight points to me. If you knock me down twice, I would be deducted another point, you would have you would keep your 10 points, I would then have 7 points, etc. That's why knockdowns are so valuable in boxing, because if you can win a round and knock the opponent down, you've basically sort of won the equivalent of two rounds. If one of the fighters in the ring is causing too many fouls, for example, if I'm hitting you in the balls <laughs> too many times, also known as a low blow, if you hit below the, the, the waist line, basically, if you hit consistently punch someone below the waist, you will be deducted a point for low blows. Or another fill, for example, if you get punched in the back of the head, if I'm punching you in the back of the head too much, then I will get a fill. If the referee, usually a referee would give a warning, but if they say, okay, I'm deducting a point, so say I hit you too many low blows, I will be deducted a point, so therefore I would lose one of my points. So that's how fights are scored from a mathematical point of view. If you win a, if you win a round, you get 10 points and the other person gets 9 points. If there are any situations where there's knockdowns, either fight, the whichever fighter gets knocked down will be deducted a point, or Phil also get deducted a point. You can get a situation where if no one was really a clear winner of a round, can be scored a draw, so 10 points and 10 points. That can happen, it's quite rare, but it can happen. At the end of the fight, so after all of the scheduled rounds have been completed, the number of points on each fighter is added up and the announcer announces the winner who has more points than the other person. One thing that's slightly controversial though is how judges award the points. How do you determine who wins a round? That's something that since 1968, when the must system was introduced by WBC and, and every, everywhere uses that system in the world, 
it's still not, th there is a lot of subjectivity to, to score in a fight. How do you determine who wins the round? If you're a judge, do you judge it on power punches landed? Say you hit me with big power punches frequently in a round and I don't block them or dodge them, I, I get hit by them. Chances are you would win the round in that situation. Or if you just land way more punches on me than I land on you, you would win the round. Or again, if you knock me down, it's pretty easily scold to be you winning that round. One thing that's a little bit more tricky though is in a situation where you've got a style matchup between someone who's on the back foot, so someone who's moving backwards and kind of like basically running away but hitting shots and the other fighter is just coming forward. So you have one fighter who's working off of a jab, keeping distance, and then the other fighter who's maybe a pressure fighter who is just coming up, trying to cut off the ring and get inside. Those fights, if they go the distance, are often the most controversial because it really depends on what kind of style that you like if you are a judge. If you're a judge, do you like the fact that, you know, that the person fighting on the back foot is, you know, slick, good footwork, judging the distance, keeping the distance, not getting hit too much, or do you prefer someone who's more aggressive and pressing, pressing the action and trying to land big shots? That's when it becomes controversial and that's when it causes a lot of arguments. <laughs> and uh, really there isn't a, a solution for that currently. So for any new fans, I hope that sort of tries to clear up the and untangle the many complexities around scoring a fight in boxing. Thanks for watching. Remember to hit that little like button and I'm out.